This is the story of a journey, a journey that takes place along a historic road where once a revolution was fought and won without a single shot fired. This is a story told in pictures, painted by 3,000 pairs of hands on a canvas of walls 4,000 meters long. This is also the story of a people, people on a quest to fulfill a common dream, the dream of lasting peace. This is the story of Project EDSA. It all started with the question, how can we mainstream peace building? At the same time, how can we create more awareness about the peace building process? We actually wanted every Filipino to understand the importance of our role in contributing to peace and development. Ito yung tinatawag nating munting hakbang para sa kapayapaan. I went to Marlika Village to, to uh, uh, an environmental and peace mural because it so happened that uh, AAI was uh, partly involved as an organizer. In one of my conversations with Ralph, uh, turns out we have we had the same uh, goal or intention to to paint a peace mural along EDSA. Uh, and since AI was uh, working closely with the AFP, I asked him maybe he can uh, arrange an, a meeting or talk to the AFP. It so happened that the chief of staff of the AFP also had that in mind. So we had the same vision of uh, creating a peace mural along EDSA. This project is really what the IPSP Bayanihan is all about. Uh, Bayanihan uh, working together or cooperative uh, cooperation amongst community. That, that, that's the reason why we are here today. We saw art as one of the best venues or best projects wherein uh, we can mainstream and create more awareness about the peace building process because art actually cuts across cultures. It cuts across religion. It's one of the easiest way for us to send or bring about the message of peace. United in passion and purpose, fueled by the spirit of Bayanihan, hands are set to task and the journey begins. But the road that lies ahead is paved with challenges. Every day, EDSA has around 2.34 million vehicles. With the millions of people or vehicles passing through EDSA, mas magiging effective and we will be able to reach a great number of people in terms of sending the message of peace. Nung nagsisimula po, ang una naming objective uh, bilang kasama sa mga meetings lahat-lahat, eh, mami-mainstream ba talaga natin to? Will we create ang tawag po natin distraction enough o promotions enough o attention enough para magawa natin to isang po napakalaking project that is well, basically history in the making. Ang um, pinakamahirap na part yung brainstorming, yung workshop, yung pagbuo talaga ng design. So almost two months yata na nagprepare. Pero, sawa naman ang Diyos. Labo din. We were conceptualizing the, the artwork for the wall. We estimated that we needed about 1,200 volunteers. We were thinking about maybe about three to four per segment of the wall. And the partners from the army were kind of thinking, can you mobilize that many people in a day? ng volunteers, it took two to three days. We already had uh, almost a thousand, so it was a failure problem. More than 1,000 volunteers were already here looking for their paint, looking for their spots, looking for uh, drawings to fill up, and finding no drawings in some spots. Uh, all the confusion that comes with uh, a big event like this. Yun, sa unang araw, dun mismo na sa tingin ko naramdaman yung biggest talent. Project EDSA gained the support of numerous individuals and groups representing a vast cross-section of Philippine society. Artists, soldiers, citizens, students, teachers, professionals, men and women, young and old, Muslims and Christians. 
private corporations and volunteer groups, even people with disabilities. Over 3,000 volunteers participated in building a culture of peace, each one bringing a unique perspective, each one with a story to tell. Even passerbys, while passing by, it's a they grabbed the brush and helped us paint the wall. Actually, I saw the two good friends of high school. I just saw them on Facebook and I was in white plains. So I thought I was going to go. When you come to this place, this, this place is really good. It has kind of its own so high kind of magic. When you start, you really want to finish. Because you have a sense of ownership. When you come here, you can say to yourself, I built that wall. I, I contributed to that project. There are a lot of people. But it's about that. It's about working together with someone that you don't know. So I remember one kid was like saying, "Oh, this is the first time that I'm seeing people from all walks of life." So that's the kind of thing that I think we want to achieve, right? I've been passing by uh, this uh, stretch of Rame. Uh, saw the project, got curious of and how pretty it looked and how massive also the project is and was thinking that um, if we can be part of it then yeah, it would be really nice. Isa sa mga reason din kung ba't ako sumali dito ay para maipalaganap na po yung kapayapaan ko na una at saka mapagkaisa po yung Christian and Muslim. Bali po yung tatay ko, tausap po siya tapos yung nanay ko po maginda na. May nalala po ako nung nandun ako sa Mbuanga del Sur. Kaya po kami umalis nung kasi nagkaroon ng parang, yun niya parang gera, nabutan kami nung gera. Dalawang pamilya po yung nag-aaway nung nandun kami. Umalis kami nung kasi, natatakot kami baka pati kami ay masali. Napakahirap ang uh, sitwasyon uh, para sa mga sundalo, uh, sa mga kumbatans, maging yung sa mga uh, nakakalaban namin. At uh, sa aking experience sa Sulu, uh, Basilan, Central Mindanao, ay uh, narealize ko na walang kuwang itong uh, paglalaban ng uh, kapwa Pilipino dahil dapat idaan sa uh, tamang pag-uusap, uh, idaan ito sa mapayapang uh, pagipagtalakayan. My family is here simply because they wanted to join also. We really want to have a, a, a better uh, Philippines for everybody. I do project management on inclusive mobility and I think this is a good way to uh, really improve the walkability of the area. It can also help in raising awareness of a lot of things that we took for granted and then when you realize their value, they're no longer there. So whatever that we have now, at least we should put some effort in conserving them. Is environment related to peace? And I told him yes. In fact, most of the conflicts in the world is about conflicts with the resources, resource use, where there's not enough resources for everybody. You can't have peace if you don't have enough of what you need. Funny as it may sound, I'd like a future where we have a future. Peace is about being a good student, it is about being a good daughter, being a good son, being a good soldier, taking care of our environment, and generally, being a good citizen of this country. The intention is to send out the message and to involve thousands of people, not just the actual painting, but sa, sa campaign, no? yung, yung ingay na magagawa. Yun ang importante. Yung uh, mga solusyon ay nasa ating mga kamay. Uh, tayo rin ang magtulungan ng uh, agad-agad nating matapos itong mga sikalot at ang ating mga sundalo ay magbalik baraks para ipagpatuloy ang mandato ang protektahan ng ating soberenya ang pagkakaisa ng ating bansa. This is actually uh, the beginning, just the beginning of a new journey in terms of the peace building process. Once completed, Project EDSA will be the longest peace mural in the world. But not for long. Already, plans are underway to bring the peace mural project to other parts of the Philippines. Our collective hope is that the message contained in these walls can become a bridge that connects people, a bridge that can reach beyond our shores to countries all over the world so that no walls can ever divide us and we can stand united in a true and lasting peace.